Hello fellow YouTubers and collectors, today I'm going to be looking at the absolute edition of what I think is one of DC's best stories ever and that is Darwin Cook's DC The New Frontier uh, First of all here we have the slipcase for it, I didn't put it in because they can be a bit of a bastard to remove sometimes this one was actually the first that I found pretty easy to remove but a uh, great slip case with the old fashioned uh, dot printing and I just love his art this was a blind buy for me I heard so much about it and I just decided to buy it as you can see there 50 quid which is pretty good for um, a absolute edition and I just sat down and read it until the end couldn't put it down i love the design of the flash green lantern as well and his wonder woman definitely is unique it's bigger than superman inside which is as it should be seeing as she is a true goddess so there's enough of that really cool slipcase and onto the actual book, it is quite a beast. There's the um, spine, really nice silver and painted front with most of the primary characters. And also at the back, you've got another painted front showing the end nothing given away there inside his artwork is just I love it got a bit of an introduction this collects DC the new frontier issues one to six there was um, a special edition that was released i think to coincide with the uh, justice league the new frontier film which i think is one of the best uh, animated films that warner brothers have done definitely check this out Paul Levitz did the introduction. He has a really good um, sort of um, story before the main story starts on The Losers, which of course was made into a film. I'll just skip that because that's all about the losers. Let's go for it really. A bit like um, in Watchmen, there's sort of sub segments here that you can read in between the uh, issues or chapters I love this bit here with Superman bashing Batman Hal Jordan now just go here we have um Wonder Woman and Superman <sighs> and uh, Martian Manhunter the action figures for this were great I love this version of Batman very simple very true to the 
early versions of Batman. Captain Gold and the Flash, I love that. And great um, use of like how he moves visually, the speeds, force. I'm not getting myself across properly, but Cook captured the, the fast motion really well. Hal Jordan really was the central character for this, the primary character. Great colouring by Dave Stewart. Challenges of the unknown. Wonder Woman. I hope they, uh, in the Wonder Woman line of statues, they make a Darwin Cook inspired with Wonder Woman. So I'll definitely buy that. A bit boring here. There's a nice reference here about um, all the times that uh, Hal's mechanic was called Pie Face, how racist it was. And then he follows it up. Very nice to um, go back to that. Was it was pretty racist. Was never really addressed. Great costume design there. Redesign, I should say. Now we have a. Uh, Batman redesigned the game a bit more modern with Robin. Carol Ferris and Hal.
quite short there, old flash. Barry Allen. Black Hawks. And this is an absolutely superb shot. But I would say if you have to buy just one DC storyline, it will be either this or Identity Crisis. I love this one as well. I really, that's probably my favourite shot of Wonder Woman, especially with her hair slicked back like that. Martian Manhunter, as we more commonly know him. Metamorpho, Green Arrow, Speedy, Booster Gold, Plastic Man, Aquaman, so many. Got the Metal Men there. Star Wars. And then we got the covers here. All the extras, and there are a lot of extras in this, unlike Identity Crisis, when you've got Sorrel, absolutely no extras at all. That's a great one of Martian Manhunter, both his, as John Johns and... in his Martian Man Hunter disguise or reality depending on how you want to put it that's just beautiful and I'm sure there's another one yeah and a whole load of annotations Sketchbook. That I love. Here's the sketch uh, drawing for the cover. Some of the action figures that were made. I really do wish that I did get. Um, Green Lantern, there was the second series made. And uh, just an afterward by Darwin.
if you're just wondering how big this is compared to a regular comic here's um, a regular comic and just place it over the absolute edition you can see it's quite a bit um, bit more larger definitely definitely worth the money in my opinion and I'll just finish with probably what is my favorite scene and this it's made all the better in the movie if I can just find it it's when Batman confronts Martian Manhunter early in the film sorry in the comic still very um, skept skeptical it's before he has Robin I just love that look still it's up here I've been watching you Mr Jones I know all about you except where you are from my instincts tell me you're to be trusted make no mistake it took a $70,000 sliver of Meteor to stop the one from Metropolis. With you, all I need is a penny for a book of matches. I just love that line. Definitely worth getting this. Uh, definitely um, adds more in the Absolute Edition. Uh, like the probably the Kingdom Come and the Justice because the with those the artwork of Alex Ross is definitely highlighted more I uh, hope you enjoyed this quick review on this book I would uh, I, I can't praise it enough the, and get anything by Darwin Cook and definitely check this out if you're on if you're a member of Amazon Prime you can um, look at this for free take care bye for now